this is a knee examination. Um, uh, it's always best to uh, evaluate uh, complete history as well as mechanism before doing a clinical examination. It's also best to have the patient dressed properly with shorts so you can see the entire lower extremity as well as in bare feet so you can assess their alignment. The initial part of the examination begins with assessing uh, body alignment as they stand with their feet together, both feet for, uh, forward, and we want to evaluate their general alignment. Alignment is going to be if, uh, evaluating around the knee is to see if they have varus or valgus alignment of the knee, that is to say if they're knock, kneed, or bow-legged. It also is, uh, helps evaluate femoral anaversion, uh, which would mean that the patient has internal rotation of their femur, which, like you see in this patient, shows slight winking of the kneecaps, that they're pointed slightly inwards. Um, we can also evaluate for tibial torsion or bow legs, uh, and we also would like to evaluate for pes planus or high arched feet. If our patient steps apart a little bit and we focus down on her feet, you'll see that she has slight flat feet. Uh, the flat feet exacerbates uh, tibial torsion or internal rotation, which will exacerbate patellofemoral problems. Um, uh, in addition, uh, we want to over, uh, look overall at her muscle tone and atrophy to make sure she is relatively fit.